Pilots must navigate the course in the fastest possible time and perform a prescribed series of aerobatic manoeuvres including as few penalties as possible. Planned and designed with veteran Hungarian ace Peter Besne, who worked closely with the Red Bull Air Race team to develop the concept. The aim was to grow a brand new international aviation race that would challenge the ability of the world's best pilots, creating a race in the sky that was simply not about speed but also precision and skill. Before they can get a super license to compete, new pilots who wish to become members of this exclusive club must have recognised credentials from the FAI and have competed at international flying competitions. This is no place for an amateur. Low level stunt flying in front of large crowds calls for top level experience behind the stick. The wind today was, uh, was very strong, uh, it's very turbulent in the track and uh, makes some of the corners very difficult. So you're trying to line it up to fly through these air gates and it's anybody's guess out there. It's why you're seeing a lot of this quick maneuvering because we're all second guessing the flight path of the airplane due to the crosswind. We don't fly at the same time. If we were there barging each other out of the course, I would say it was it was rivalry. There's a fierce competition going on, you know, and I want to go faster than Mike and, and vice versa, but um, all I've got to do is just try and fly as fast as I can each time I go out there. This extreme sport is so popular with G-Force junkies that even Formula One aces queue up for a ride with Besne. Last time, I remember I had no idea where I was because you went up and like... Whoosh. Normally I don't particularly like flying, but when I was in this small plane with him, I wasn't scared at all, so I really enjoyed it. So we just fly as much as the passenger wants. If, if it's too much, we stop. So we always just go till the limit of the passenger. Uh, but I guess today the limit will be quite high. When you go away from uh, the runway, upside down, you have to pull negative G, so the blood goes up to your brain, and that's, that's interesting. I think that's the, the hardest G-force to deal with.